Hi, this is Chris with FirstCenturyChristianity.net. Today I'm talking about Pentecost Sunday. That happens this Sunday, June 16th, 2024. And most of Christianity is going to keep Pentecost Sunday on this day. And they're not going to know why. They're not going to really understand the implications and where this day comes from. I was one of them. I was raised in traditional Christianity, and we always kept Pentecost Sunday, and it was tied to Acts 2, verse 1. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. Now, maybe it's on me, maybe I was taught wrong, but for my young adult life, up to my young adult life, I thought the day of Pentecost was called that because it was the day the Holy Spirit came. And we're all taught that's the day the church began, that the, the New Testament church began. This is the day the apostles uh, got the authority from on high. They got the Holy Spirit to go out and be bold and preach. Well, that part's true, except what's not true or what we are misled to, to believe is that this wasn't just a random day where they were together to get the Holy Spirit. This is a day, a holy Sabbath from the Torah. It shows that the apostles were still keeping the Torah. And in my late 20s, when I learned about Torah-keeping Christians, I learned about the holy days, I, I was educated about what Pentecost Sunday really is. And it's a day that's established in Leviticus 23 based on another holy day in the Torah. So the first day of the week during Passover is called the day of first fruits. Until this day, you can't have any new grain that has been harvested. And on this day, the, the priest would take the new grain and wave it. It's not a Sabbath day. It's a work day because the people are expected to bring in their the first fruits of their grain offering to the temple. The priest will wave it. And from that point on, the people can have the new grain. And they would have it unleavened because it's during the days of unleavened bread. From that day, you count seven complete Sabbaths. So it starts on a Sunday. You count seven Sabbaths plus a day. You land on a Sunday 50 days later. Pentecost, count 50, in Hebrew called Shavuot. It really is count seven plus one, but it's... Uh, kind of slang is count 50. And so this is the day 50 days after the first fruit offering that you have a holy Sabbath and you eat it with leavened bread. There's a lot to talk about here as far as theology goes, as far as understanding the Bible. But understand that this day is counted from the day of first fruits, which is when the Messiah was resurrected. As Paul tells us, the first fruits of the dead. During Passion Week, Yeshua was resurrected, was with the apostles. Up until day 40, he ascends. Ten days later, they're assembled on Pentecost because they're still keeping the Torah, and he sends the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, the helper that they were promised, and that helper emboldens them to go speak to the authorities and to speak to all the people the truth. And it really does begin anew. This is where the, the gospel goes forth from Zion, but it's a continuation of the faith of Abraham, of Isaac, of Jacob, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Hosea, John the Baptist, Yeshua, it goes on. It's a continuation. It's not a new church. So this Sunday, when you are in church, keeping that day holy and having a holy convocation, understand that you are actually obeying the Torah for one week a year. Our assembly will be together in our hall in North Kansas City uh, from three o'clock on. And we invite you to join us if you're in Kansas City or if you're online, I'll talk much more about the day of Pentecost because I just hit the highlights here. But understand this day is from the Torah. It's from days of old. And all of these days in the Torah point to prophetic events. If you want to know the ending, start looking in the book of Leviticus 23. Have a blessed rest of your week. I'll see you all on Shabbat at our regular time. And then 
on Shavuot, on Pentecost Sunday, starting at 3 o'clock. Yahweh bless you and keep you in the name of his son, Yeshua.